Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Link's Awakening. In the last episode we took out the fifth dungeon of the game, Catfish's Maw. In this episode, we go and make our way to this statue. Um, if you remember this area, there was an, a rock that we could hook shot to right over here. So we go over here and we talk to it. You put the missing scale in the mermaid statue and it opens up. We go down, and you've got the magnifying lens. This will reveal many things you couldn't see before, uh, much like the lens of truth in the other games. I believe you just have to walk and see. Yeah, now you can see that there is a bunch of enemies here, and I almost ran right into that uh, arm mimic. Which would have not been good, because I believe they do s four hearts of damage? A lot. It's a lot. Don't get hit by them. Oop. I'm just gonna hop down here. Alright. Now, we're gonna make our way over to Animal Village, is where we need to go next. Which is right up here. So... And this house over here that didn't have anything in it. Hey, you can see me? You must have a magnifying glass. It's actually a magnifying lens. I'm not a troublemaker. I just want to live in peace. Hi there. It's me, the photographer. You say Zora's in this house. I have to take a picture of that. I'll call it I Found Zora. <laughs> Well, I found the hidden Zora. What's up? If you keep me a secret, I'll tell you something useful. Go to Tar Taranbo Shores, use the magnifying glass, and you will find someone like me. Well, we'll make sure to remember that. Now, that cave up there. You know the one that I... Quiet, Marin. It's not your turn to talk. Um, that cave up there that we've been to before. Remember how we couldn't get through it? Well, now that we have the hookshot, we can actually do it, because the hookshot opens up quite a few things to us, which is pretty sweet. So what we want to do, we want to actually go up here first. Ow. There, I didn't know three of you were going to show up, so we can't get over there, but we can drop a bomb here. Well, I thought I could drop a bomb. Or at least, I thought I could drop it farther. <laughs> um, but there is a different way we can do this. We can use bomb arrows. Not now. I would like to not do that now. Uh, we go up. Alright, we can use bomb arrows here. So we want to take this. And if you press them both at the same time... You can shoot a bomb arrow. And with that, we go here and pick up a piece of heart number 10, to be exact. With that, we can't get back over. Uh, really? How do I get back then? Oh, like that. That works. That probably wasn't how you're supposed to do it. Oh, I'm gonna fall into that hole. Excuse me. Alright. So, now that we have that, we need to take that advice of that mystery Zora and go to Taranbo Shores, which is just, like, the beach area. That's what that actually is. Um, so we're going to warp over to Maeve, and I will meet, y if I don't get stuck on that panda guy, and I'll meet you guys there in a jiffy. Whoa! Alright, let's get rid of these levers and this uh, crab guy, 
And let's blow up this spot. I don't know if I ever showed this off before. So we blow that up and walk inside. Well, who's this? I found a good item washed on the beach. I'll trade it to you for what you have in your B button. No. Uh, this is the secret go goy goria. Um, he can trade a few items for uh, whatever's in your B slot. Um, since we've gotten pretty much everything that we can do with the shovel, I'm gonna trade in the shovel. So we're not gonna need it. So I'll do that because okay. You got the boomerang in exchange for the item you had. Give me back the boomerang, I beg you. I return <laughs> the item you gave me. Not now. Oh yeah, okay, whatever. The boomerang is broken. If you know anything about Zelda items, you know that the boomerang in Link's Awakening is insanely broken and should not be as strong as it is. You see, the thing about this item is that it actually kills everything, or at least pretty much everything, in one hit. Why? I don't know, but it does. Now, of course, I don't plan on using it, but I still wanted to get it. So, now that we got that, we need to go somewhere else, unfortunately. Alright, remember this area? Well, it actually has a purpose. Now that we can jump this gap using our rock boots combo, uh, that actually worked. Go this way, the sign says. This is the start of the signpost maze. So, what we need to do is we need to follow the signposts. Now we need to go this way. Try again from the start. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. I can't go that way. Is it not possible to get over there? Try again from the start. Yeah, is it not possible to get over there? How the heck would you get over there? Uh... Hmm... I think you might have to actually fully restart, so... Hmm. So go this way. Go this way. Now we need to go this way, but we can't actually get there. Like, I think that's too far of a gap for us to close. Oh, wait. We have a hook shot. I forgot. You know, I'm probably going to do that quite a bit where I forget that we actually have the... You're joking me. We have the hook shot. Because a lot of these gaps we would never be able to close without it. Alright, there we go. Now we need to go up, which means we have to go this way, and I believe it's just straight, straight up. So this way, go this way, go this way, go this way. Go this way. Go this way. 
go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. I meant to do that. Wait. Great! You did it! Your award is this way! <laughs> the signpost maze, ladies and gentlemen. Great. Well, hello! Wart from... His name is Wart, right? I know his name is Mamu in this game, but I think his name was Wart in Super Mario Bros. 2? Rabbit, rabbit. I'm Mamu. On vocals. But I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Wanna hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut. What do you do? I pay! Jam for me, Frogman! Thank you. Thank you very much. Rogue. You've learned the frog's song of soul. It's a very moving tune. It can even liven up unliving things. If you play the song, you'll make everything around you feel more alive. Basically, it brings things back from the dead. I... <laughs> he hit me so hard I went flying off the screen. Alright. So now, hey, sorry about that. So now we want to head to Animal Village once again. Uh, so we want to make a run for it. There we go. Woo! Okay. So now that we're back here, back in ye old animal village, so, if I check my map, so there's the face shrine, around this area is where we need to go in this area of sorts so i'll meet you guys there i just went to animal village to kind of show you where i'm going to be going so oh boy hoot there are two shrines one to the north and the other to the south first head south where ancient ruins speak of the windfish you will learn much there I actually thought this was way farther away, so I actually didn't need to cut. Um, we've been here before. This is the area that I got stuck um, looking for other stuff. We want to go down into this area. Do these statues come alive? No. Why would I think that? That would be stupid. That would be very foolish if they did that. Whoa! Just kidding. They are alive. Uh, can these things be killed? Well, uh, these are Armos, by the way, if you were wondering. I don't know if you can kill them. But if you can, that would be news to me. You can bump them. Uh, what if I use the boomerang? The boomerang kills everything. Oh? It takes two hits to kill them with the boomerang? Uh, some arrows. Hey, you, get out of the way. 
Go away. Apparently, Armos drop arrows. I don't know if this is actually what you're supposed to do to kill them, but I just guess because it didn't seem like I was killing them, so you might not be able to normally. Doesn't look like you can get through this way. Wow. Wow. Plenty of arrows, that's for sure. Maybe you can just stun them by smacking them. You! There we go. Take him out. Go up. And this is the southern face shrine. So... Let's lift some pots and see if we can't get some... It's the Armos Knight. He's already dead? Well, the seashell sword does wonders on him. Anyways, we got the face key. Oh, it's dark in here. Why don't we lighten things up? Oh. To the finder, the Isle of Koholent is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky. A scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Koholent will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away, you should know the truth. What? An illusion? Well... That's very strange. But, with that knowledge, we're going to end the episode here. So, and next time on Link's Awakening, we're going to be taking on the next dungeon of the game, Face Shrine, the north one. This is not a dungeon. There's, there's two. The owl said that. Anyways, see you guys later. Have a good one, and bye-bye.